here's um, my review on the on my rainbow pump. So uh, this rainbow pump, well, background first. Uh, rainbow pumps were invented by, I think, Stark and a couple other guys, or the Rainbow Catch, and then Ryan McNumbers invented the rainbow pump. I think I'm not sure though, but that's yeah, they were invented by those guys. Uh, so this rainbow pump was built by Ryan McNumbers. Um, I bought it last December, so this is actually one of the first rainbow pumps he actually sold. And he sold some, like, a couple months ago, too. I don't think he's selling them anymore. He might be. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's a really nice product to buy. It suits really hard, really comfortable. Uh, if you don't know, it's what the rainbow catch is. It's kind of like it's a polycarbonate catch. It's like... SG Nerf's ring catch, or PVC ring catch, but, uh, in polycarbonate, but then it doesn't have as much polycarbonate as a plus bow, so it's much easier to make, it's much, uh, cost efficient, it's, yeah, um, uh, it has, I think, a K26 spring in it, I'm not sure, though, a perfect seal, and here's the pump slide, oh, whoops, this is kind of awkward to there we go. Sorry about that. So yeah, okay. bring this back up. Yeah. Uh, so that's the um seal. It's a. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, catches very well. Uh, it's actually dry fireable, though I'm not gonna dry fire it. So I'm gonna deprime it real quick. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna deprime it. There. Um, but yeah, so, it is dry fireable because of the strings right here, because the string hold back the plunder rod from going really fast, or from slamming against the bushing. Uh, it has a rainbow pump handle, of course, and this handle is just so comfortable. He makes it really, really nicely. If you don't know Ryan McNumbers, then he's one of, the, probably the best homemade uh, homemade, like, gun makers. It makes such nice stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's the polycarbonate trigger. On his later models, he has wood triggers, which are also nice. I don't know. Uh, he has a Y here, and that's screwed in. So, if you have, right here, your barrel, uh, your clip. This is the clear clip that came with it, but I put a three quarter inch ball valve instead of the end cap. And here's the optimal barrel came with it. CPVC and schedule eighty. Let's go. Um, it won't. The Y won't like go anywhere because it's stuck onto the blaster. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's a really long blaster. It has some nice weight to it, which I like. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, but that's really it, um, uh, sorry, no firing test today, but, yeah, these fire over a hundred feet, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.